Welcome to SOLIDWORKS Simulation Tutorials. In this video, you will learn how to do drop test analysis of a helmet. This helmet is made of ABS material and it will be dropped from the height of 5 meter on a rigid store. And you will check how much stresses and formations occurs on the impact of this helmet on a rigid floor. So first of all, open this 3D model of helmet in SOLIDWORKS and start a new simulation study. Click on study then give it a specific name if you want to change the name of your study and ensure that the drop test simulation has been selected from specialized simulation type then ok you can see now that ABS material has already been assigned to this helmet part after that go to setup define edit then ensure that drop height is selected and from the height ensure that the from the lowest point is selected change units to meter and enter the value of drop height that is 5 meter. For the gravity select the reference unit plane that is the plane 1. Ensure the directions of this help should be normal to this plane. So direction of drop is normal to the gravity. Leave other parameters default. Ok, then go to mesh and create a curvature based mesh. From mesh parameters select curvature based mesh. Wait until mesh is being created. So mesh has been generated now and from Result options, click and define edit. Here is the solution time after impact that is 367.4 microsecond. And save the result starting from the impact. Yes, there should be no time delay and number of plots enter the number of plots 30. Now run your simulation study. Click on the run this study button and wait until your solution completes. So our solution has been completed now. Now we we'll check our results. First of all, you will check the stresses that has been developed on this helmet drop. So if we click on the stresses and go to edit definition and change the units to megapascals, then from chart option select floating. You can see that the maximum stress generated in this helmet is about 51.8 megapascal. You can also that is the belt on the top of the helmet. And this stress value is for the time of 367.242 microseconds. If we decrease the number of plots, you can see this is plot number 29 and here is the time for plot number 29 is 355 microseconds and the stress for this time is 49 megapascal. Similarly, we can check the stress value for any number of plot against our definite 
time. For example, this is the at this step 25, the time is 306 microseconds and stress is 46 megapascal. You can also animate this stress value. Similarly, you can check the displacement. So this is the maximum displacement that occurs at the end of the plot 30 that is 3.7 millimeters. You can also change the scale of the formation. Change the scale to 20. If we animate this displacement deformations, you can see that displacement deformation behavior of helmet on the rigid floor. You can also check the time history plot of stress. So right click on the results and click on the defined time history plot. Here you can select a specific node. If you click here. So this is the node number 2010. Your node may be different and on x axis take the time and on the y axis take the stress and its value should be in mega pascal okay so this is a node number 2010 that is about here and here is the stress values with the that is varying changing with time i hope you enjoyed this helmet drop test simulations with solidworks and hope that you will subscribe and share this video thank you for watching take care bye bye